Yeah, my name is Herbie Deskins, and I'm serving as uh, uh, Bill Deskins' as deputy uh, for the rest of these 14 months. And uh, I've been county attorney here in Pike County for six years, beginning 1970 to 76, served the legislature for 23 years, and to uh, 76 to 98, served uh, Bill as his executive assistant uh, his first term, and uh, I've been politically active all my life. My father was a United Mine Worker, <coughs> and uh, uh, during, this, during the Eisenhower years, he got cut off in 1952. He had, didn't have a job, so I went with him, and he, in Johnson County, which is a predominantly Republican county, and we were Democrats, and I, I went with him when, at, at, when I was eight years old, nine years old, campaigning, and I thought that was just the most interesting thing there ever was. The mo big, biggest part was that we'd go in a store and of course dad would campaign with them and, and the store owner would say, well, let that boy have a candy bar. So I, I thought that was really great. But uh, from there, I've just been politically active since, uh, since the Eisenhower uh, administration. Well, I think my father did uh, in, in that election. And my dad was very active in United Mine Workers, uh, actually. He was one of the people that signed under the Blue Eagle, uh, the National Recovery Act, uh, where people could uh, uh, organize and bargain collectively uh, at Wayland, Kentucky. Uh, and so from that standpoint, from his union activity, uh, through my whole career, uh, we've been very active, our Deskins family in politics. Well, I, I'm very interested in government. <clears throat> And I, I think that government is the most important thing in your life outside of your religion. And, and we just sort of forgot that. Uh, when I was in the legislature, I got a law passed that government had to be taught from kindergarten through 12. And that was implemented. And we had it through the third grade uh, until we passed the uh, uh, Educational Reform Act and then the fellow that came in from California demanded that we take all the mandates out. And we took that mandate out and we're still not teaching government. We're teaching government two times during 13 years and that's not enough. Well, one of the things that I had mandatory in, in every one of the classes that I taught at Pikeville, at the University of Kentucky and at Moorhead was to read Night Comes to the Cumberlands by Harry Cottle, and that told the uh, the story of the people coming in buying up our coal uh, for very small amounts, uh, taking out the coal and never putting anything, and generally leaving a whole lot of misery, black lung, broken bones, uh, and and they were had took all the money out, and so I, that's that's what I was doing. I was actually trying to teach a a group of people how this whole thing happened here in the mountains. <clears throat> I don't think it's got worse, but what we've suffered from, is, as, as most people have been in politics, is brain drain. Our, our brightest students have been moving out, uh, having opportunities other places, except during the uh, boom that uh, we had in the 70s when you know wages got up to enough that you could you didn't have to leave to, to make a good wages, uh, and it our future is still based on a coal economy, uh, but we've got to add on to it. We've done pretty good here in Pike County uh, by virtue of the osteopathic school uh, and uh, the other. Uh, medical school uh, and we've got the biggest medical center in eastern Kentucky so I think our our future will be based medically and coal based some we'll we'll have a uh, a, a bit of, of coal but but that's where our future is going to be in medical uh, and the technology that medical research brings I know I, I don't our biggest challenge is to find new industry 
uh, we need to uh, develop some some uh, <clears throat> uh, lands that that people can move back into eastern Kentucky. I've always said that if someone can do a job, an eastern Kentuckian can do it better. Everybody looks at East Kentucky and says, oh, those miners. I'll tell you what, a miner is the most, he's one of the, the I, I can't explain it. He can do anything. He works in danger eight hours a day, 12 hours a day, has to avoid all the dangers in the mine, keep himself alive. He can take uh, tape and, and, uh, and wire and make machines run that, that ordinarily wouldn't be running. And I'm told that Georgetown, that those people there in, in those industries that are building the Toyota cars, they love to look over an application and see that it's an East Kentucky miner that's made an application because he's generally going to get hired right on the spot. So we have a, a tremendous opportunity. It's just uh, going out and finding, finding people that want to come back here and building the infrastructure uh, for them to come back and survive. Well, I do the same thing that uh, the judge does, uh, but now that's, we do not judge judge uh, criminal cases or anything. Uh, it's, a, it's an executive position. Uh, we do the uh, everyday uh, things that, that an executive office would do. Uh, take care of the uh, roads, uh, uh, and uh, all of the things that are that are with government, except you know anything criminal. Well, uh, <clears throat> Judge Deskins, William Deskins, I think is one of the the, the best uh, administrators that this uh, county's ever had in its, its career. And doing what he wants me to do, uh, that's good government, and I think good government makes you grow. Now we he's been faced with two times in office uh, facing shortfalls and has worked it out both times. And uh, he called on me to, to work the last 14 months of his uh, administration. And uh, I did it because we want to leave, uh, leaving the county in good shape, uh, turning it over to this commissioner form of government that's coming in and being able to say, here you are, you're balanced, Here's where the money's coming from. Here's where we have to pay and, and let this new commissioners uh, take off, knowing that we have done everything that we could to help th that transition to government. <clears throat> I would say get involved with it. I, here's what I found out at the, at the University of Pike. Uh, I taught classes uh, at, at U Pike, at U, U of K, and Moorhead. One of the first things I would do is to go into a class and, and give them some numbers and ask if they knew what those numbers were. And one of them was 100, uh, 38, 120. And ask them what, and generally I wouldn't get, nobody would, they thought, well, I'm crazy. Well, we got 100 senators. I mean, 100 representatives in the state of Kentucky, 38. Uh, senators, 120 counties, and it's just awful that people don't know more about government. And uh, I would ask each one of those students that wants to know, to know your government, take a day off and go down to the courthouse and walk through the courthouse and see the different offices and say, hey, what are you doing here? Now, when I taught my classes, I would take a day out and walk them through the courthouse. And generally, the only one that they knew was where you get your driver's license. And a few of them knew where the jailhouse was, you know, if you didn't get to that. But uh, it, was, it was just amazing to me at, that people did not know anything about government. And, and that's why I've uh, introduced that bill and got it passed. Uh, and I think that if, it, if they'd let it stay on the books, that we'd have a whole bunch of Kentuckians that know a whole lot more about government than they do now because it, all, it's only taught twice in 13 years. Yeah, I think it, here's one thing that uh, we're changing into the commissioner form of government. Now, and I, in the next 14 months, I'm going to dedicate uh, a big part of my time 
to try to get over how that government works and, and what we should expect from it. Uh, we're going to have some forums uh, explaining that government and like this show here. Uh, and uh, I think it got 11,000 and some votes and passed and we're going to try to educate the people in, in, in uh, Pike County uh, what the government is. The, the outline of the government and how it works, the qualifications of the people that have to run, and uh, all the different aspects of the commissioner form of government. It's a new thing, first time it's ever been implemented in Pike County. Johnson County has it and it works. Floyd County voted it in and it didn't work, or so they said, and there's been several other counties, but it's not, not my job or Judge Deskins' job to now say yes or no, we shouldn't give it, we've got it. Uh, it's our job to have a smooth transition into uh, this new form of government and, and as present to them, this administration, to the first uh, administration of commissioners that uh, a, a smooth government, well balanced, uh, budget balanced, no debts, and uh, let them start off uh, with a clean slate.